I'm approaching Ponferrada, and I can see the city in the distance. The road from Molina Seca is boring, and you mostly walk on concrete. But it does not matter. I've been waiting a long time for today, when I will visit Ponferrada Castle, or the Castle of the Templar Knights of Ponferrada, which is the full name of the castle. I'm excited because the castle has a long history that goes all the way back to the Knights Templar and the Crusades. Ponferrada is the sixth largest city along the Camino de Santiago, with its 70,000 inhabitants. Despite the pandemic, there is a bustling street life in front of the castle. The Ponferrada Castle is a magnificent building. The castle constitutes a very complex military work that has been extended and reformed over time, as its construction corresponds to different periods. It was originally a hill fort and later a Roman citadel. When the Templar Knights took possession of the fortress, they reinforced and extended it for their use. The building has an irregular square plan, and the outstanding features are, above all, the entrance, which involves crossing the mouth on a drawbridge and further on, two large towers with crenellations joined by an arch. Its twelve original towers reproduce the shapes of the constellations. As with many other historical sites in Europe, Many of the blocks that at one point formed the walls of the castle were removed and used in local construction projects. Extensive restoration works are ongoing. The castle covers approximately 16,000 square meters. In the castle you find the Templar's Library and the Ponferrada Investigation and Study Center which contains almost 1,400 books. The castle has a long history, dating back to the Middle Ages. In 1178, Ferdinand II of Leon donated the city to the Templar Order for protecting the pilgrims on the way of St. James, who passed through El Bierzo in their road to the cathedral in Santiago de Compostela. The castle hosted the Knights Templars, Grand Master of Castile. However, the Templars were only able to enjoy the use of their fortress 
for about 20 years. Before the order was disbanded and its properties confiscated in 1311. Next Sunday on Hiking Ways, we start a new series with tips you need before you walk the Camino de Santiago. And of course, we start with the shoes, the single most important thing to get right before you walk the Camino. See you next Sunday.